And I mean, uh, we've talked about how this has been historic, yeah. 2023, but yeah. yeah. But here we are, and yes. still too early to tell. Which, what say you, Mark? Two things strike me. So last year at this time, 177% of average, this year, 20 some odd, maybe 30%. Add those together, divided by two, comes out to about 100%. Oh, mm. that's, a, that's a nice perspective, mm. I like so that. that. But that's how we get the average, is we have big years, we have dry years. The other thing is, we've lost two months, November, December, didn't do much in terms of snow. We have January, February, March left. It's tough to dig out of that hole. So getting back up to 100% may be very difficult, but even after a big year last year, getting back up to around 80%, will be significant enough to fill our reservoirs by the time we get to spring. So we may not get to get to 100, but 75 or 80 percent this year may be just fine. Getting some showers right now and we have 50 degrees in Sacramento. We will see on again, off again rain as we head through the evening. So if you're going to be out and about, just kind of keep that in mind. We will see wet roads travel may be a little slow, especially during the early evening hours when a lot more cars are on the road. But by midnight, a lot of the rain will be done in the valley. Two little lines of rain. One has just exited the Sacramento area. There's a break that goes through Yolo and Solano counties, and then there's another line back here. All of that will be going across the area, so that's why we'll have on again, off again rain going into the evening and eventually turning into snow as we go through the night. Colder air coming in behind it, so that's why the snow level is probably going to start off around 6,000 feet and then drop down to around 4,000 feet, maybe even 3,500 feet in some spots. This is the way Futurecast shows it. It may not be pinpoint right, but it gets the big idea correct. That around 8.30 tonight, we will continue to have rain from Sacramento to the east. The rain will be breaking up to the west. And in the Sierra, by this time, we should have chain controls on 80, 50, and 88. As we go through the evening, the snow level will drop. It just went from right there to right there. So that's how we get that snow in places like Arnold. We get the snow in Pollock Pines. That's at 11 o'clock tonight, raining in the foothills. The snow won't last all that long, so that's how places like Pollock Pines end up with two to four inches of snow as opposed to the 10 inches or so that we may see up on the summit. So that's four o'clock in the morning. You'll notice that there are a few more showers that will rotate through. So tomorrow morning, there's still maybe a shower or two for the morning commute in the Sierra snow showers that will be decreasing. And the trend as we go through the day tomorrow will be for drying. So by five o'clock, the valley actually has sunshine and then we will be dry as we head into Thursday. It just might be a little bit of fog first thing in the morning. In terms of the snow, yeah, it's going to snow pretty good up on the summit. Eight to 10 inches of snow. Bear Valley and Kirkwood probably more like 10 to 12 and the lower elevations two to four inches of snow down around 4,000 feet. And we have not seen snow down to 4,000 feet yet this year. That's another one of the anomalies that we have so far. Lingering showers in the morning, but a lot of tomorrow's dry. Thursday's dry. We have a shower in here on Friday. We may end up taking it out of the forecast completely. If we do get any rain, it'd be a trace or a couple of one hundreds. Saturday afternoon, maybe a little bit of rain, but perhaps a better snowmaker. And then we are dry as we head into Sunday and beyond. So this is nice. But you know what? What I still look at in terms of our snow season, we still haven't even had one storm that we've been saying, "Oh, we're going to get three to four feet." Right. You know, all the storms we've been talking about, it's like two to five inches, yeah. six to eight inches. So while tonight's going to be nice. It's still not what we expect from the Sierra. Still waiting for the big one. Yeah, we, we, we expect bigger storms from the Sierra. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. Okay.